I'm gonna show you a really simple, really easy thing you can check if you're trying to fire up your gas water heater and you're getting no spark to ignite the burner. Uh, this happened to me recently and it ended up being a <laughs> just a really easy fix, so I just thought I'd share it with you. So to check if you're getting a spark, you can just pop your shield off on the bottom and then you'll look through this window. Obviously when you're lighting it, you set your dial here to pilot and you push it down, hold it as you hit the spark igniter. I'm not gonna do it now because my water heater is running, but that's what you do. And when I did that, nothing in here. So what it ended up being for me is I just pulled this connector apart. This orange thing is basically just a shield. So there's just a little connector here. Just reseat that, make that sure it's a good connection. If it looks corroded, you could even rub it with some sandpaper. So just connect it, make sure it's a good snug connection. And for me, that's all it took. <laughs> Obviously there's a bad connection. So hopefully for some of you, that's just a really easy fix so that you can fire up your water heater again. And if that doesn't work, you could also just wiggle the cord a bit, uh, just in case it's a funky wire. And you could also wiggle these. That's probably not gonna fix your problem, but you never know. Uh, so say you've reseated this and you're still getting no spark. What you can do, which I didn't have to do, but I will just walk you through something else that you can do. Before you do this, uh, do turn off the gas supply to your water heater. So shut, shut it so there's no gas coming to it. Well, before you do that, another thing you can try, sorry, is just clean this connection in here. Uh, just get a toothbrush in there, some sandpaper, just make sure there's no dirt or corrosion in there. That might help as well. But if that doesn't work, what you're gonna wanna do with the gas off is remove these three things from this box. So you got this little wire, this one here, and this wire as well. Once those three are disconnected, you're gonna remove these four screws, and then you'll be able to pull out the burner. And I'll just throw a diagram up on the screen so that you can see what it looks like. And give the ignition piece in there a quick rub with some sandpaper or some emery cloth. Just make sure everything's clean in there. And while you have it apart, you can also just hold your finger on the end of the ignition cord. And when you push this, you should be feeling um, a little tickle, I guess. I've never tried it. It won't be a big shock, though. You'll be fine. And if you do that and you, <laughs> and you feel nothing, then you do have some sort of a problem with this. But if you are feeling a, a shock at the end of this cord, um, it does mean that it is getting some current down there and probably it's a problem with your burner itself and hopefully a cleaning will help. Yeah, if you have any other tips, definitely drop them in the comments. Hopefully this was clear and hopefully it helps some of you guys get that water heater going again.